Hello, fellow class of 2020. As your valedictorian, I am obligated to give you a speech, one that is supposed to be thought-provoking, motivating, and worthy of being presented to thousands of people. However, I am no Shakespeare. Although I have watched dozens of commencement speeches on YouTube, I cannot guarantee that these words will be anything but cringy, generalized, and forgettable. Instead, within the next however many minutes, it is my goal to give you some laughs and seem somewhat insightful. This entire semester has been bizarre, one none of us saw coming despite our 2020 visions. But after four long years, we've made it. We finally obtained the piece of paper declaring that we're done at least with high school. We've conquered so much, those three or four or whatever AM study sessions or procrastination sessions, junioritis, senioritis, SATs, ACTs, APs, all the acronyms, and who knows how much more. For those of us who excelled through the insanity, be proud. But for those of us who stumbled along the way or didn't achieve what we wanted to, it is okay. As cliche as it sounds, the numbers and rankings that mattered so much these past four years really are not everything. I may be giving this speech as a result of my ranking, but I am not you. My ranking makes me no better a person than you. So as much as we may or may not have fixated on them, and I'm guilty of the former, these things are ultimately just numbers that we will likely forget within the next several years if we haven't already. We merely survived in high school, but now it is time to thrive. What happens then to all of the work that we have done? If those numbers don't mean anything, then what is the point of all the effort we have put in? Was it worth it? To that, I say, I don't know. I myself still question whether or not all of the eye bags and mid-lecture naps were worth it, but I would like to believe that it was. The payoff may not come today or tomorrow or even for many years, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. In the meantime, we can only do as much as we can. Now, this doesn't mean that we have to do something monumental and change the world. Individually, we may not be as influential as Malala Yousafzai or Billie Eilish, but collectively, we are a force to be reckoned with. As Arthur Ashe said, Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. We won't all become president of the United States. We won't all find a cure for cancer. We won't all pioneer a voyage to another universe before global warming destroys us all. Perhaps this will happen for a lucky few, but for the rest of us, it is okay. Do what you can, change what you can. No matter what you do, your actions will change the world for someone. So, what happens now? Of course, we all know that things aren't over yet. The world won't wait for us to be ready for adulthood. We are still faced with something called life, and life is a mess. However, we are also messy. For reference, look at your room, so we might as well embrace it. As John Stewart said, the unfortunate yet truly exciting thing about your life is that there is no core curriculum. The entire place is an elective. We just need to choose what we want to do and go for it. It doesn't matter if that means attending college, joining the military, getting a job, or binge watching Netflix, YouTube, or TikToks. As I'm sure quarantine has taught everyone, we should simply enjoy the journey and savor every moment. And for those of us who still aren't quite ready to be an adult and instead want to continue being couch potatoes and sleeping in until noon, aka me, we still have summer break. To close out this speech, I would like to give thanks to the following people. My parents for their unconditional support and discipline in making me such a tryhard. Our teachers for an abundance of laughter and food for thought. The charismatic Mr. Groff for being such an effervescent principal. Google, Quizlet, Coffee, Sparknotes, my incredibly patient comrades for their vibe checks on this speech. And most importantly, all of my fellow graduates who I know are going to go out into the world and kick some serious butt. I know I've used two already, 
But for all of you, I would like to give one last quote from Edward Koch. The fireworks begin today. Each diploma is a lighted match. Each one of you is a fuse. Now let's go cause some mayhem. Thank you, have fun, and good luck. See you around, class of 2020.